Hello everyone. This afternoon I want to talk to you about the material that you see in front of me on the rug. This is called the addition strip board and it comes after the child has worked with dice addition or bead bar addition. It's another way for the child to practice their addition facts. Let's start by going over the material itself. Um, you will notice the board in the center. This box is to keep the strips, the blue and red strips in. So I just leave that at the top of my rug. I put the red strips on the right. That's how I remember it, red, right. And then the blue strips are on the left side. If you look closely, you will see that the blue strips have red numbers on them that match the red numbers on this side of the board. The red strips have blue numbers and they also have little divider lines for the child to count as they are adding. And I have arranged them from nine to one in order on this side and nine to one in order on this side. I also have a pencil and a clipboard of addition problems um, where I can record my answers. For this lesson today, I'm going to focus on adding with fours. Um, the child, after they do this, can practice adding with the fives, the six combinations, um, and then they can mix them up and work with combinations to 10 and beyond. So for this lesson, I am just going to work my way down through these problems and record my answers. Here we go. The first problem that I see on my paper is four plus one. I'm going to take the blue four strip and place it at the top. And then I will get the one red strip and place it next to it. And there are squares on the grid to help me to organize my work. 4 plus 1 equals 5, and I see the 5 above the blue and the red strip. Let's try the next one. 4 plus 2. I will leave the 4, and instead of the 1, I will now put the 2 next to it. And I can count four, five, six. Four plus two equals six. I counted the two sections on the red strip and I can also see the answer above. So now I will record it. The next one is four plus three. I will leave the four, put the two back in its place, and get the three. Four plus three. Four, five, six, seven. Four plus three equals seven. The next one is four plus four. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Four plus four equals eight. Let's continue. Four plus five. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Four plus five equals nine. Four 
plus 6. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I notice that the red strip now touches the red line in the middle of the board. So four plus six equals ten. Four plus seven. The red strip now moves beyond the line in the middle. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Four plus eight. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. And for the last one on my paper, four plus nine. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. I can see the thirteen up here. There is a printable version of this work that you can do um, in the Google Classroom. And it is helpful to do this work on the floor on a rug because it takes up a good bit of space. Thank you so much for joining me for this lesson and I hope you enjoy the strip board. Bye everybody.